Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite makeup products that I've been using throughout 2017. Some of them are new releases and others have been on the market for quite some time, but nevertheless, they are all my absolute go-to holy grail makeup products that I've been using this year. So this is my first sit down chit chat style video. For any of you who have been here before, you will know that my videos up till now have all been vlogs. For any of you newbies, if you like vlogs, do make sure and check them out to see what I've been getting up to over the past few months. So back to today. And as it turns out, I am actually going out tonight. I had been wanting to film a sit down, get ready with me using all my favorite makeup products throughout 2017. So I just thought today it was the perfect opportunity to do this. Side note, I am currently taking part in Kaylee MUA's Christmas makeup challenge, where in today's challenge, she requires us to create a look using all of our holy grail makeup products. So that fits nicely into today's agenda for me. I'm also going to be using this finished look for my makeup challenge over on my Instagram. So yeah, two birds, one stone. Well, three actually, because I'm going out tonight and I'm going to wear this face out tonight. Haha. <laughs> Lastly, before I get on with it, I am going to be announcing my first ever giveaway at the end of this video. So if you would like to be in with a chance of winning, just keep on watching. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road. So I've already prepped and primed my skin and did my brows. I'm not gonna talk about the products that I use to do these because I've yet to find the ones that make me go wow. So that then brings us on to the foundation and favorite product number one, which is Floor Mars Perfect Coverage Foundation. Now, not only has this foundation been my favorite foundation of 2017, but I've been using this for a number of years now, about six, and it is the only foundation that I could find that sits on my skin the way I want it to. Others kind of like slide and slip off my face and move and whatever. This one does not budge. The lasting power of this foundation is unreal. It says it lasts up to 12 hours, but I know myself that I'm gonna get up to 16 hours out of it. I'm going out tonight, it's 12 p.m. now. I know that I'm not going to have to top up my makeup before I go out. Whatever I put on now is gonna last me through all throughout the day and all throughout the night. Also, as you'll see when I apply it, the coverage is absolutely just insane. It will cover everything. I know my skin is quite okay at the minute, but if you have any spots or imperfections or blemishes or anything like that, it is going to cover everything. Also, it does not dry out your skin. It has hydrating properties like sweet almond oil and olive oil. So it's gonna leave your skin looking lovely and dewy and feeling nice and hydrated throughout the day. Lastly, there's SPF 15 in this, so can't go wrong with a little bit of sun perfection in your makeup. So to apply this foundation, I'm telling you, you could use your fingers to put this on and it will still give flawless results. But I'm not gonna do that today. I am going to do one side of my face using this Real Techniques stippling brush and the other half using this Beauty Blender. Just to show you the difference, both results are amazing. With this product, a little bit goes a long way, so I'm just gonna use... My bottle's running out. I'm just gonna use one pump on the back of my hand and dip my stippling brush into it like so and I'm going to just plaster that all over my face. As you can see, one pump. Honestly, I think that one pump would actually do the whole lot on my face, but some of the brushes do take up quite a lot of product. Just blending that down onto the neck then. I'm telling you, I've been absolutely through the mill with this product. There a couple of years ago, they were rebranding it and it was really hard to get it. But um, the stockists used to tell me that they were discontinuing the brand and it was the only foundation that I found that I loved. So I used to go in and pick up maybe five or six bottles at a time and walk out the, the chemist or the pharmacy with them. And that's saying a lot about how I feel about this foundation. So to do the other side of my face, I'm taking another pump on the back of my hand. I'm gonna dip my beauty blender into it using the bigger side and I'm just gonna push it all into the skin. You 
You can layer this foundation, but really, I don't really think you need to because there's so much coverage in the first layer. Now, sometimes I will, like, okay, I know I'm gonna need this to last me all day and all night. So just for that reason, I'm gonna pop another extra little bit on to my face. Now, with this foundation, you can leave it as it is. You don't even have to set it because it just will not budge and it just leaves a lovely, like, dewy finish. But I prefer a matte finish myself. So that brings me on to favourite product number two, which is also from Flormar, and it is the Flormar's Loose Powder Setting Powder. Now, like the foundation, I have tried many, many, many different setting powders, and this seems to be the one that suits my skin type. And obviously when you use it, use like with like, use it with the foundation, you're gonna get optimum results. I like this powder because it doesn't cake, it doesn't feel heavy on my face, it feels lovely and smooth, and it just looks really, really natural when you, once you have it on. So to apply this, there's actually a lovely little cushion applicator that comes with it. I would normally use that, as you can see. Um, either that or maybe I might use this kind of dense little brush just to pack it on, maybe under the eyes of that. Okay, so moving away from the face for a couple of minutes, I'm going to move on to the eyes, which brings me on to favorite product number three, which is the So Su by SJ Hot Fire Palette. Since this was launched a couple of months ago, it is the practically the only palette that I have been using to do my everyday look and also some nighttime looks as well. Okay, so in this palette, you get 12 different shades, a lovely mix of burnt oranges, reds, and browns. You've also got your shimmery powders, um, your transitions up the top, and then your darker colors on the bottom. Okay, so with this palette, you can create a number of different looks. Um, you can use it to create a very, very subtle everyday daytime look. Um, you can use it to create a very, very glam cut crease. But one of my favorite things to do with this palette is to create a spotlight eye. To create this look, I'm going to be using a combination of my favorite shades from this palette being Naked, Ignite, probably a mix of Depth and Copper Light, and then to light up the center of the lid, that little spotlight, I'm gonna be using a mix of Pot of Gold and Flame. So while using this palette, all of the brushes I'm going to be using are from Zoeva. They are the Rose Golden Edition, and I got them on Beauty Bay. Um, best investment I ever made. So starting off this look, I am taking the shade Naked, as my transition shade number one just dipping the brush into the palette i don't need to swirl it around because there is a lot of pickup off this brush or off this off these shadows so just tapping off the excess and let's see just popping it all on just above the crease and below the brow bone taking a smaller crease bur blush a smaller crease brush and using the shade Ignite. Um, same story, dipping it into the palette, tapping off the excess and just keeping it ever so slightly closer to the lash line. Different people create spotlight eyes different ways. Um, I am not a makeup artist, so I do not actually know the correct way to do this, but this is what works for me. Just colouring in the crease there, adding a bit of depth, and then packing it, packing it into the inner and outer corners of the lid. Okay then, just to deepen that crease and inner and outer corner even further, I'm using a smaller brush again. And taking a mix of a depth and a copper light and I'm just ever so gently gonna tap that into the inner corner the outer corner and I'm just gonna join it up ever so gently to meet in the center 
Okay, so we're looking a little bit cray cray at the moment, but bear with me. I'm going to fill in the center of the lid now using a mix of flame and then just going over the top of that with some pot of gold. Um, I find that these shimmery pigments actually work best if you wet the brush. I'm using the Mario Bidescu facial spray to do that, but I'm sure you can just use water. So just give it a little spritz. And then just kind of drag the brush down onto the pigment. And just patting that, sort of patting and dragging motions onto the center of the lid. Okay, so then using the same brush, give it a little spritz again. Taking the shade Pot of Gold, just to go over just what we've done, but keeping it a little bit smaller and closer to the lash line. Just to give it a little bit more definition. Is that the word I'm looking for? So that is my spotlight eye, but obviously I can't do the top and leave the bottom bare. So I am just gonna go in with the same colors again. So that is one eye done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and I'll be back to you with favorite product number four. Okay, so I am looking like an absolute maniac right now, but that is okay because it is quite a drastic glam nighttime look that I am trying to achieve here. I'm gonna finish off this eye look using favorite products number four and five. Favourite product number four is the number seven Stay Perfect Liquid Eyeliner. And favourite product number five is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on. For me, when it comes to liquid eyeliner, the applicator is every bit as important as the product itself. Um, the reason why I love this one so much and why I picked it as my favourite product is because the applicator gives a lovely, precise, very quite sharp, winged eyeliner look. Probably could be a bit neater, but sure, hey, look, nobody's perfect. Okay, so that is the two eyes done. I have gone for quite a thick liner because um, I'm going to be putting lashes on top of it. But before I do that, I'm going to just use my Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I know I'm lucky enough my lashes aren't actually that short, but even people who have like no lashes, they use this and it gives them quite a long lash, but it doesn't clump. And you know the way some eyelashes over time that kind of dry up in the bottle, the carton, the container? What is this called? The tube? I don't know. The dry up in the bottle, this one doesn't at all. I've had this, this is actually a miniature one that I got free from Beauty Bay when I bought other products, but I have it about six months now and it's still like perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on. What a transformation. So I don't know whether you could see before I popped on the mascara, like I, my eyelids were like bald um, underneath all the eyeshadow, but now it actually has given quite a nice lift length and curl to my lashes. For the everyday person or for an everyday look, this mascara on its own would be more than enough but because i have done such a dramatic eye look and because i'm going out tonight i'm going to pop some very dramatic eyelashes on top of this and even though it's technically not makeup i am classing it as favorite product number six it is the sosu false lashes in the style Haley. these ones i actually only bought I think about two weeks ago for the first time I own I think every other pair that she has 
on the market. Um, these are my la very last pair to buy and they are actually, out of all of them, my absolute favourites. They're unreal. I just love the style of them. And the fit for my particular lid, um, I know with some of them I do have quite a bit of issues trying to get them to settle into place and just look natural. These ones are definitely a very, very good fit for my eye. Um, and of course they are very, very dramatic, which I love. So this is what they look like outside of the packet. Now I have worn these ones twice already, but that's another reason why this particular style of lash is my favorite, is because you could get maybe up to 20 wears out of them. They are a little bit dearer than her standard range lashes, but for the extra few quid, it's definitely worth buying them and not having to throw them out after one wear. I referred to the way that they sit on my lid already and I think the reason for that being is because the band itself is so flexible. You can bend it any which way you want. So maybe that's why I find it so easy to apply on my lid. I'm going to go ahead and pop these on and I will check back in with you in a minute. So these are the lashes on. I had what I call an absolute makeup meltdown trying to put these on. I know everybody has them, makeup meltdowns. They are where the product that you're trying to apply just does not go on the way you want it to at all. This lash went on fine first time, no problems. This one I think I had to take off three or four times and put it back on. But that's no fault of the lash, completely my own fault. Uh, but anyways, we live and learn. So that brings us on to Favourite product number seven, I'm moving back onto the face, it's contour highlight and I am using the Amy Connolly Sculpted Contour and Highlight Kit. I think I bought a total of 10 contour and highlight kits this year alone and this seems to be the one that I keep reaching for every time I'm doing my contour and highlight. So in this we have your bronzer your highlight which is a lovely gold toned highlight and then you have a cream highlight as well which I don't really use but that's just personal preference I'm not great at applying cream products myself I prefer powders so that's why I stick to these two I normally start with the highlight first I don't know why I think it's just a personal preference as well um, you can start with the contour but I'm going to start with the highlight because that's what I like to do so again, I'm taking a Zoeva, this is the Luxe Highlight Brush, so it's just a little dense fluffy brush, it's perfect for picking up product and applying it onto your face. So I'm just going to swirl it around a little bit and I'm going to start with the nose. That's unreal, isn't it? Every time I put on this highlighter, I'm like, wow. <laughs> and then I want more, just because it's so wow. A little bit to the cupid's bow. A little bit to the chin, just dapping it on the chin there. Middle of my forehead. And of course, over the cheekbones. And I like to bring mine just up over the brow, over the tail of the brow. That pigment is insane. I just get blown away by this highlighter every time I use it. I'm sure the Martians in space can see me from here. Now I like a hell of a lot of highlighter. Like I have way too much on, but that's just, again, personal preference. That's the way I like to do my makeup. And by God, I tell you, when the sunlight hits that, it would blind you. So, <laughs> but that's what we want. So then moving on to contour, I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush. It's just a little round, dense, fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna pop that on the bronzer, tap off the excess and making a bit of a funny face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> Just concentrating in the cheekbone. Give it a nice chiseled effect. 
So applying it first and then blending it upwards. I only do a very, very small amount on my forehead because my forehead is quite tiny as it is. The whole idea of contouring is to make something appear smaller or more chiseled. So I don't want to make my forehead any smaller than it already is. Okay, I am happy enough with that. So, just do the sides of the nose as well. I don't spend very long contouring my nose, even though it's crooked as hell. I think by contouring it, sometimes it makes it look worse than it already is. So, I don't bother anymore. I've given up on that. That's actually how I got into makeup. I broke my nose um, a couple of years ago and I wanted to learn how to use makeup to make my nose appear straighter than it actually was. Now it was a giant fail. I never could get anything to work for me. I'm sure if I sat down and actually bought like a full contour kit for your nose, I'd probably figure it out. I'm just taking the Real Techniques buffer brush just to blend all that out, make it look more even because it just looks a little bit harsh there. It's much better. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I got into makeup. Now, yeah. just putting a bit under the lip, bottom lip as well. And then a bit under the jaw, which I don't, honestly I don't really bother with half the time. Mm. Okay, happy out. So that is a product, favorite product number seven. It is sculpted by Amy Connolly, the highlighter and contour kit. So that brings us on to final favorite product, favorite product number eight, and it is for the lips. It is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. Now, if you go into my lipstick drawer in my bedroom, I have so many liquid lipsticks. I have much 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 higher range stuff than Rimmel but I always keep using this one this is the one I always go for I think it's because of its lasting power it stays on all day even when you eat drink whatever it doesn't budge I know I have there's other ones that I like too but um especially like the Inglot HD lip tints but they tend to move a little bit on my lips especially like if I'm eating or drinking so this for me is my holy grail liquid lipstick um I have it in the shade, I love a red lipstick, so I have it in the shade Fire Stata. So I'm just gonna pop that on to complete this finished look. So this is the final look that I've created using all my favorite products that I've been using throughout 2017. I am ready to hit the town tonight. This very, very simple glam nighttime look. So that brings me on to the final element of this video, which is the giveaway! So what am I giving away? Well, one lucky person is going to be able to win one of each of all the products that I have used to create this look. That's amazing, right? Absolutely. I would want that prize. Because all these products are actually ones that I would buy again. So yes, I would definitely love this prize. Like, who wouldn't want this brand new, still in the box, Sosu by SJ Hot Fire Palette? Yeah. Who wouldn't want the sculpted by Amy Connolly highlight and contour kit? Yeah, amongst all the rest, I'm throwing in some Haley lashes, some Stila mascara, some Floma foundation, and some Floma setting powder. And lastly, I am throwing in the number seven eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick. So yes, one person could win all of this 
All you have to do to win is head over to my Instagram and follow the rules there. It's very, very simple. Just follow my account, like the post, and tag one person in the comments below. One entry per line and international entries are welcome. And let me just say that this contest is not sponsored in any way. I am not working alongside any of the brands that I've mentioned throughout this video, nor have any of the prizes been gifted to me. I have gone out and handpicked all of these products myself to give away to one of you lucky peoples. So please do enter. It would mean the absolute world to me. It would absolutely just make my Christmas if you would just enter the competition and top off the end of a brilliant year for me. So yeah, that brings me to the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching and for helping me get ready. I will be back with a bang in 2018, but until then, have a very, very Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. Bye.